What's going on guys? I'm gonna use this 2006 Ford Crown Vic to show you some important fuses and relays for the operation of the blower motor and the climate control. So to start with, we're gonna pop down here. There are two fuses behind this cover that you get at by pinching on either side and pulling down. So the first one for us to check is gonna be this one right here, fuse number two. This provides power to the uh, HVAC control unit for the purpose of the blower speed and there's also this 10 amp fuse right here this also provides power to that climate control unit and this is what helps provide the different modes so whether you want the air coming out of the uh, vents or the floor now let's head under the hood and I'll show you more about the uh, blower motor circuit so behind this fuse box right here we're gonna find a fuse and a relay for the blower motor. And these work together to provide power to that blower motor. So the power comes from this 40 amp J case fuse. And with the J case fuses, you can look down through the top of them to see if they're blown or not. You can pop the cover off as well. As you see, this one is intact. Now the blower motor relay is this one right here. You can tap on it. Sometimes they get stuck or sometimes the best thing to do is to swap this with a known good relay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Keep in mind, you can swap either of these. Um, this is your starter relay. You can swap that in. Um, if you swap the relays and then your, your car won't start, then you pretty much know that it was an issue with the relay all along. Now let's talk about the pins. This pin right here, it receives uh, constant power from this J case fuse right here that I pointed out to you. And when this relay is energized, it takes the power from here and it sends it to this pin. This pin goes directly to your blower motor. Now these two pins on either side, those are for activating the blower motor relay. The green pin, you should see a constant ground. So you should always have a ground present there. This pin gets energized by your climate control unit, what Ford calls the function selector switch assembly. So you should see a power present here whenever you have it on any mode other than off. Now, uh, when this relay is energized, it, like I said, it sends power to that blower motor. And this is your blower motor right here. So the power should be coming in on the pink white wire so you should get a power here and a ground comes in on the wire underneath it so if you're the, the motor needs both a power and a ground in order to work uh, one thing that i see often as well is there can be a lot of heavy corrosion in here sometimes if you wiggle the connector and the blower motor kicks on that's basically a good hint to you that you're having issues with uh, corrosion or maybe the connector itself is burnt out. So that's one thing I like to check as well. So like I said, you should see a power at that top pin. The ground should be present here. And the ground, the ground side of the circuit is actually how the different speeds are controlled. So that bottom wire there, that orange black wire that I've got marked with the green paint, that goes directly to the switch assembly. And the switch assembly sends either a direct ground if you've got it on high speed or it sends a weakened ground at the other speeds and the weakened ground comes from that blower motor resistor so there's four wires there one of those wires goes directly to ground and the other wires hook up to the resistor and give you basically give you different uh, resistance values so yeah I hope this info was helpful for you guys. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, if you have any advice for troubleshooting the blower motor on your Crown Vic. Thanks for watching.